What up gamers? Uh, yeah, Spino Gaming here. Today, I'm joined by my Rex army, which I accidentally made last episode. If you're confused how I accidentally made it, basically, literally, all I was supposed to do, all I was trying to do, was breed, um, Emflumpy and Ripspur, and then Joxalton and Emperor, to then make Reptile and Bagon, these two here. Oh, wow. But yeah, all I wanted to make is these two. But then I forgot to disable mating for these four. So they kept doing it, and they were... <laughs> they made like four or five eggs. I'm pretty sure they made four, but one of the eggs had twins. So it resulted in th all the rest. Some of them I haven't even named yet, because there's just so many of them. Um, oh, for God's sake, don't tell me this is fertilized. Okay, it's not, thank God. But yeah, so... In this episode, I have a lot of ideas, most of them just involve crafting. So what I want to do, I've already learnt the engrams for the full ghillie armor. Well, I haven't learnt the chess piece, but that's because I already got one from a red supply crate. Wait, was it red? It was either red or purple, I can't remember. But yeah, uh, so I, I want to craft those. And there's also a tent here, which I've learnt from Scorched Earth, which I would also like to craft. So I just need thatch and silk. No idea how I'm going to get silk, but I'll figure it out. And, yeah, I would also like to... <laughs> so many of them. But yeah, I would also like to... What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, just explore more of the top of the map. So, as you can see down here, I now have 62 out of... Well, ten, like, basically I have 63 darts now. That's because that, <laughs> that last and first clip that you just saw has been, like... A while since then, and I didn't want to record this at night, so I've just waited a bit longer. But yeah, I got, I crafted that. Still don't know how I'm gonna get the silk. Well, I mean, I know, I think I have a rough idea as to how you get it. I just don't know where. You need to like, well, you need to harvest them from these like special bushes, and so in order to do that, I require a uh, sickle. So I'll get one of those. And also I'm going to need to murder some penguins for the organic polymer in order to get the ghillie suit. I should be able to craft this. Probably. I just need metal for that. Oh god, I do not want to fall in here. Ah, too late. Well, um, yeah, basically, in this episode we're going to craft ghillie armor. We're going to craft a tent for next episode. I'm only gonna hint for next episode, it's gonna be a different episode. It's, it's gonna be different than the rest of these episodes. It's gonna be a special episode, basically. But yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna quickly craft a sickle. We're gonna try and find some silk, so I'll be back. There we are. Oh, nice. Okay, we now have a sickle. Um, okay. Now, the organic polymer is probably going to be extremely easy to make, because all I have to do is massacre a shite ton of penguins. Um, if it hasn't spoiled, then I'm pretty sure I already have, like, loads of organic polymer up in my snow base, but that was quite a long time ago, so I don't know if it's spoiled or not. Let's go check. Ah, right, now... First, I have to remember where my base actually is, and I found it. <laughs> Fair enough. I genuinely thought I was going to have trouble with that. So, we're here now, where we tamed Medic. We're freezing to death. Until we go in here. Um, alright, moment of truth. Yeah, it's all spoiled. Uh, shite. Well, I mean, sure, that's depre uh, depressing. <laughs> Not depressing. Well, it's disappointing, but... No, nah, actually, yeah, that is depressing. So, let's just hope that penguins still exist. Thank God, there are still penguins. Alive today. Right. Give me your organic polymer, please, mate. There we go. Epic. You too. I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna need, but hopefully this is enough. 
There we go. There's some here. Some more over there. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get those. Okay, there we go. Uh, well, hopefully that's enough, because I don't particularly like murdering penguins. I quite like them. So let's get this. And let's see what we can craft. Mask. Those. Oh, we got more than enough. Okay, I think. Right, well now we got a full ghillie suit. Holy shite, we went fast. Oh my god! We nearly went all the way back to the base. Jesus, we just went so far. I don't even know what happened. We have returned, gamers. Um... Okay, well it's... Uh, okay, well this is pretty much done, so actually now I want charcoal. <laughs> so... Well we now have the ghillie armor, but we don't need that yet, so just in case I lose it, I'm gonna put it all in here. Well, first of all, let us get... Th this is the, uh, thing I was talking about that I already have, it's an ascendant one, so it's better than normal. I got it from Ivory Purple, or Red Crate. I can't remember which one it was specifically, but... Why can't I put it in? There we go. It does exist. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this remaining polymer, so... That's that objective of the episode done, now let's... Attempt to try and find... Some... I don't know, just... Silk. Ooh! Okay, we got some special looking bushes here, so let's replace the water canteen. Silk? That's fiber. Shite. Oh, silk! Okay, well we have enough silk now, but we might as well get it all, I guess. We get a lot of fiber as well. Here we go. All the silk. Yeah! There we go. That's the silk done. Okay, so, <laughs> we got 135 silk, wow, but yeah, now, obtained from the moth creatures used to craft desert cloves in the tent, right, well, now that's done, let us craft, oh, we need thatch, okay, well, once I get more thatch, such as now, <laughs> let's craft the tent, there we go. So, I'm not going to say why I need the tent, except for, it's for next episode, I don't want to spoil it though, too much. So, a portable tent where you can take cover in hostile environments, there we go. So, uh, yeah, that's the second objective, now let's just go explore. There is one specific place I would like to explore more, and it's up where that wyvern cave was, where we, well, where we found the ice wyvern, because my, well, my, sort of game theory here, I guess you could say, is that there's probably going to be more around that area which has more dangerous and epic creatures which will be more ferocious and dangerous, but more epic if we tame them. That's the point I'm getting at, so let's go over there and see what we can find. Let's find a tech parasaur, and you know what we do to, like, every single tech thing that exists. So, uh, just get some height and... Okay. Let's stop avoiding the elephant in the room here and ask the question, what the shite am I going to do with all of these Rexes? So... I've no idea. <laughs> there's so many of them and most of them there's absolutely no point in even having except for the fact that we have numbers. Because... They're complete. most of them are completely useless to me, like, they're really low level, they don't do anything, and I've already got some really high level ones, so, I don't want to just slaughter them, because I'm, I'm not, I'm not that person, but, what I might do is start the annual Hunger Games for Rexes, so, you know, comment down below what you think I should do with all of the extra Rexes. My idea is I should build a, a fight club, like an arena, and have them fight to the death, and whoever wins is 
well, gets to live, basically. Around this area is where the wyvern thing is. The shine's this. What's that? Looks interesting. Yeah, around here. Sorry. Alright, well, as I was trying to say multiple times, around. Oh, Jesus, that's fine. Well, as I was trying to say, <laughs> around this, like, volcanic place here, somewhere is the Wyvern Cave, and that's where we went in and got that, like, lightning Wyvern egg. Uh, and this area is very hostile, and I'm not actually sure there's much stuff here. But there's a place over here, and this looks like it contains some, I don't know, Rexes, although I think we have more than enough of those. You know what? I think I'd take back what I just said about possibly finding Rexes here. This place just looks completely normal, to be honest. Except those fire crystal things over there. That's not so normal. And uh, neither's that thing. Oh, it's just a pack of Allosaurus very close to each other. Fair enough. Yeah, I need a stamina break. But this place is mostly normal. We'll say that. Oh, shit, wait, hang on a minute. Uh-oh. Um. Yeah, so it turns out I just realized that what also isn't normal is that that's the Wyvern Cave. Literally, that is where I got the Lightning Wyvern Egg, so this area is going to be populated by Wyverns. And that area up there, that snowy area, is Murder Snow, where I attempted and failed to find Ice Wyvern Eggs. So, this is like one of the most dangerous places to be in currently. So, let's go somewhere else. Oh, that's a pretzel. Quetzal even. <laughs> pretzel. Bloody Nora. That's a Quetzal, I was meant to say. Yeah, there's a, there's a pretzel up there. Uh, what's that? <laughs> it looks like Jacob's lighthouse from Lost. Let's go there. Yo, what up, lighthouse? What have you got to offer? Except being here. Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Epic. So, what's actually in here? Um, a good view, I guess, of... Well, on this side... A Bronto. Pretty epic. Or... Oh, Diplodocus, Diplodoc, Diplodo, Diplodocus. I'm just going to call it Diplodocus because it sounds funny. Uh, yeah, we got that thing over there. Okay, you know what this reminds me of? I take it back, saying that this looks like the lighthouse from Lost. This looks like those like I forgot what they're called, but they're like these towers that you can fast travel at in Shadow of War. That's what this looks like. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it, I think. I highly doubt there's going to be anything down here. Uh, yeah, it's just stuff that goes down, so... Hmm. To be honest, that's quite a big beach, though. We could literally make pillboxes and bunkers here and make D-Day or something. Um... I mean, I'm not really seeing anything else here. Surprisingly, no Rexes. Yo, what says here? Looks like a ritual. Bushes. I wonder what berries these bushes give me. Let's see. Let's let's say the like as I was saying, let's say the potato plant from Skyrim. Savor root, who are they? Um I mean I'll take them. But what are they first? Or second? They literally are potatoes! Oh I know. I wonder. Maybe because every single potato plant is the same. This is... Right, well that's a carrot. I know that much. So... I'm a farmer now, boys. Really game, you cannot give me carrots and not expect me to tame a horse. Level 150! Oh man. This horse... We're taming this horse, gamers. That means I need to put the carrots and the... My last inventory space while not losing the bloody thing, because it's going faster than the speed of light at the moment. Here we go. It's calmed down. Okay. I don't exactly have a ghillie suit here, so I can't go full stealth. Okay, Battle Hawk, you need to be a bit more stealthy than that. 
Uh, it's right here. Come on, horse. Well, not really a horse, but whatever you are. Oh, there we go, 58% as well. This is max level, by the way. 150. If, if we team this, this is going to be the most... The high level... Pardon me. This is going to be the most high level uh, dino that we ever have. And bloody hell, it's taming fast of these carrots. Whoa. Okay. Um, this is probably going to be way too long of a name, but we're going to call it the Italian Stallion. Yo, yeah, mine's just got a horse. And it goes fast as well. And it jumps a very high. We got a horse now and it has stamina for days. Bloody Nora, that's a lot of stamina. Right, so I'm not sure it needs to, but the Equus can level up. The 225. This thing. Is, is it disappointing to say that I literally have an army of Rexes and the most powerful animal I currently own level-wise is a horse? Oh well, you win some, you lose some. So, um, yeah, it turns out that Battlehawk can't actually pick up an Equus, so... I have no idea how we're going to get Stallion here back to our base, because our base is currently the other side of the map, and I cannot ride him there, because there's non-stop mountains and rexes and shite, so we might as well just build a base here. I am literally, like, on a horse. How epic's that? He's got carrots as well. I don't even think you need a saddle for it, let's see, because... Well, I mean, I know you do need a saddle for it, because I'm riding it, so if we search up... Equus, there's no... Oh! Oh, well, prove me wrong, then. A saddle for your horse, useful for crafting chemical supplies on the go. That actually sounds very useful. I might have to look into that, but for now... We're currently just on a horse. What's this, then? Waterfall. Wait, there looks like something behind this waterfall. Currently, I'm just trying to find a half-decent place to build a base. And there's something behind this waterfall. Let's see what's here. Let's get our sword out, just in case. Uh, hello? Anything? Oh, wow! Okay, yeah, this is actually a very good-looking place to build a base. You've even got metal spawns. We're, bo we're basing up here, boys. This place seems extremely secure. I mean, it's in a cave. Nothing's gonna come in here. Not Nothing big's gonna come in here anyway. And you got a water source here. Loads of metal. You can just constantly drink from here. This is an amazing spot for a base, man. <laughs> Let's get some materials and build. Because I'm thinking... If we possibly had like a behemoth gate here, just to stop anything from getting in, add some bull spikes, build a little house in there, then this will work. So, I'm gonna put Italian Stallion inside of the cave currently, for now, just, just for now, and hope I don't forget where it is, otherwise rest in peace, Stallion. So gamers, what we need to do is build probably just like a basic wooden hut inside of the cave. Whoa, hold up, why am I freezing to death? Nah. Um, oh, apparently it's cold here. That's not good. But yeah, we just need to get... So I'm just currently getting berries for Stallion, but... We need, like... Wood and fiber. I'm getting more than enough fiber here, probably, but... We do need wood in order to make just foundations and walls, because if we go here... I have... I don't have nearly enough. Where the bloody hell the foundations? Here it is. We need a lot more wood. <laughs> a lot. So, I'll probably... Well, first I'm going to give Stallion these berries to so that he doesn't starve to death. It is a he, right? Yeah, it's a male. Cool. Well, I'll give him the berries. Then I'll go on 
battle hawk and we'll find wood. Okay. There are some, believe it or not, there are some trees here. And there's so much metal in this area. But if we just get some wood here, and we can already craft a foundation or two. So that's pretty epic. Well, probably not two actually, maybe just one. Let's see. Oh, we can craft two. Okay, so I'll just keep doing this, keep getting the stuff. We don't have enough thatch now. And wood, so yeah. I'll probably just do it off camera because you don't need to see me just gathering materials. So I'll be back. There's a unicorn here. Should we try and tame it? If I just quickly do this. Um, right, I'm not sure how... Uh, I'm not sure how rare these are, so let's succeed, please. So we did it instantly, apparently. Um, level 7. I mean, I guess we got this now. I'll, I'll name it later, but for now, what's important is that we have a unicorn. I don't know why, I don't know how, but we have a unicorn. Okay. Let's name it. Let's name it. Well, I'm flump, he would probably want me to name it Charlie. No idea why. It's probably a reference, but... That's exactly why I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to name it... Um... Um... I've got no idea. It'll, it'll, it'll remain Unicorn for now. But yeah, let's go put it of Stallion. I have a feeling Unicorns are rare, so... I'm tempted to Google it. Okay, oh, hang on. Let, let's... Let's Google it. Why not? Ark, how rare are unicorns? Oh Jesus! Apparently it's very rare, so I'll take it. Um, while trotting around on their amazing horse, players may encounter the unicorn. It is the rarest creature on the island, because there is only one on the map at a time. It can be tamed just like the normal Aquas. Right. Well, basically, I think it's rare. But we... Why are you following Unicorn? Stop. How do I make him not do that? Oi! Stop! Um, behavior... Oh, shite. Enable following me. Follow me, not the- what? Why is he following you? I mean, we're here, so we might as well place down the two foundations that we currently have. So, let's do that. If you will politely move Battlehawk. There we go. There's just only two foundations. We can pretty much just place it anywhere, to be fair. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll just place them, you know, I don't know, here and here. Why not? Yeah. And then we'll probably just build backwards. I think this is gonna work, actually. Let's pick that up. We'll put it here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to- shite. Well, I guess we'll need to collect water in a minute. I think if we do something like this... And we put... Uh, that there, and then, oh, I had it, that right there, switch this to a block, and put a railing here, I think that works quite well. Alright, this will be the uh, beginning of the base then. There we go. I reckon these will be the basic, you know, overall foundations. 
of the uh, the house. For now, I will obviously extend it later, but for now, this is this is it. I am three ceilings away from completion for now. There we go. So this is just quickly the interior of it for now. Although I'll probably add some wooden ceilings up here to hide the thatch roof. And then if we go out here, I'll give you an exterior view. So currently, here is the base so far. Now the reason as to why I used thatch to make the roof is no other reason than because I think it looks better. So yeah, plus it's just a lot more cheaper. A lot cheaper. <laughs> Good English, but yeah, so this is our base for now. I'm gonna make some upgrades and add some interior stuff to actually make it a base. Oh god's sake. Right. This should be the pen now done, inserted into this rock. I'm liking this pen, to be honest. Just completely... B this is unicorn feces right here, but... Yeah, so, as I was saying... I, I've, I'm really proud of this so far, because... I kind of based the whole base, huh? But I'm... But, like... I kind of based the whole, like, house and mainly the pen off of this rock. Like, I literally just... I did foundations here, built them outwards, destroyed them, placed a foundation here, built them here again with the railings. So, got a little horse pen. I'm probably gonna add like a feeding trowel here and like fertilizer and stuff, because, well, there's not much else we're gonna do with this. But, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so, apparently it turns out that in order for the feeding trowel, you need metal. It's probably about time I mine this. So then it can respawn sooner. And Stallion has bloody 500 weight. So he can literally just carry metal for days. And I don't know what the chances were of finding a max level Equus. Well, to be fair, I don't know what the chances were of finding a bloody unicorn. So fair play. But yeah, base stuff. Okay, I have made progress. I'm just currently going to attempt to transport this metal into the base somehow. So yeah, there's... well, for a quick... I've just quickly added this uh, feeding trowel here for the horses. And then when we go in here, you can see the roofs up there. But just to make it look better in my opinion. I've added some ceilings here so you can't see it. I've also got a large storage box here, mortar and pestle, and a refining forge here which I'm currently using to, well, refine. Or at least trying to, but yeah, so next I just think I need to add a bed. Definitely some more storage as well. Well then, oh and a smithy. And then that's pretty much it for this uh, base for now. Anyway. Okay, this has taken absolutely forever, but I think I now have enough resources to craft the gateway. And then I'm gonna need even more to craft the gate, but we're not doing that yet, so it's fine. So, how big is this? If it's big- Oh my days. Um... Ah... Uh, uh, this is a bit big. There we go. And then we get this. Okay, so I now have the gate as well. So hopefully if I place this right, yeah, we can have a gate, basically. That's about it. So... Let us place this here and quickly do this so then if it's the wrong way, which it is, then we can pick it up and then do it the other way. And Stallion, you should not be here. You should be in there, so stop. There we go. Right, so now that we know what way to place it, 
Let's do it. There. Yeah, and then... Oh, I'm starving. Add the gate there. So then... Do I like that? Nah, I feel it could be better. We'll just move it one more time. Put it more like further in, I think. Like... Here. Right. See what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So then we go through the waterfall here. And then the gates here, which we open. And then we're in the base. Yeah, I really like that. Alright, gamers. Well, I do apologize that this was a very much shorter episode than there normally is, but despite this video's length, I think we got quite a bit done. I mean, we've tamed the rarest animal in the game, <laughs> we built a whole new base, and discovered a new place to get metal and wyverns. <laughs> I do apologize for that, but uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode, gamers, where, do you remember, next episode will be a slightly more different and special episode, and I'm excited for it, so I hope you are as well. But I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, gamers. Hey, you. Yes, you. If you would like to be named after one of many Rexes that I currently own in this series, then be sure to comment. And I'll rename one after you, if it's still alive.